All right, guys, back at the RV again. I am not feeling good today. I've got a splitting headache. I feel sick to my stomach. I had a little bit of something to eat because I thought it would help me feel better, and it didn't. But I came in here. I set up the uh, the fireplace there. We got Legend of Billie Jean on the TV there. Um, I'm going to have to get a sound bar for that TV because the sound is just its what I expected. It's not very good at all. Um, and I have it turned up like almost all the way and just with the little hum of the generator you, it's still like you're struggling to hear it. I like to be able to hear the TV all the way through the entire coach. You know I like to turn on my TV at home and be able to hear it all throughout the uh, the whole house because that gives me company and it, movies that I've seen a billion times look at that. How can you not love Billie Jean man? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, movies I've seen a billion times, I can laugh about it just by hearing it, and I can see it playing in my head, so I like to turn it up and hear it through the whole place. So, definitely one thing i got to get is a sound bar. Anyways, um, I don't know what I'm going to work on today. I got all this clutter here. That's from the bed there the other day. If you remember when me and Wally were working on it. I got all these blinds here. And then a couple more over here that I have to see if they actually fit, but I got all these things on clearance. I saved over $400 on all those blinds. Uh, so that's one thing I could work on there. I could work back here in removing like the rest of this linoleum here, or I could work in the bedroom here in possibly putting down the new carpet. However, no, I guess not. I was gonna have. I was gonna say I might have to do the wallpaper in here first. The only place I would have to do the wallpaper first is back there where it meets the floor, and yeah, back here where it meets the floor too. In that little corner. Other than that, the rest of the wallpaper could wait. But if I'm gonna do a little bit, I may as well do it all. However, if I decide to work back here, I should probably do everything first before I put down a new carpet, so I'm not just trampling on it which would mean I'd have to take down the treatments and the blinds there and there. That's part of what I have the new ones for. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much to do. I need to take this stuff out here, but my brother said that he's got a tool that will work a lot better than what I've been doing. He said he's got basically like a kind of like a shovel thing with a flat edge that you just put down there and it's it's got a long handle on it so you can put all your weight into it and you push and it basically just tears it right up. So I'm kind of waiting to do that until I get that tool from him. tempted to take this platform off and see how easily I could replace it with three-quarter inch plywood because this thing is just like the walls it's an eighth of an inch thick 
and this is an inch thick because it has probably foam between it and then this is another eighth of an inch thick down here so it's just really flimsy and when I was on my knees over here trying to fix the window I mean it's just cracking and creaking as if my knees are about to go through it I keep platform this is what storage space we usually have well when there's the other piece of wood on there um, but this back here it kind of makes me wonder why this is going to waste as potential storage space I suppose it could be a matter of uh, the weight on the slide because that is directly over the slide there I don't know um, I suppose I ought to leave it empty, but yeah, I mean, it really, really makes me wonder why would that be, not be utilized as a storage space. All right, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. At least half-inch plywood would even be better than that thing there, because that is just, uh, it's just flimsy. And I know we have the issue of weight, um... You know, there's only a certain amount of pounds that I can have in the entire RV, including the RV itself. So, um, I gotta be careful about that, but I think that that's something that's actually necessary, because that's just, I just feel like I'm gonna break through that. The other option would be just to get some 2 by 3s and make that a little bit more secure. Put one right in the middle there. And then one, two across here. That would strengthen that up. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, so I'm taking a little break here. I do feel a lot better, guys. I um, When I came out here this morning, I felt horrible. I had such a bad headache. And I felt kind of sick to my stomach. And I tried to eat a little bit, and it just made me feel worse. And... Uh, Anyways, I got busy out here. Anyways, it, it did make me smile when I came in here at first and I saw where Wally had signed on the floor. <laughs> That's hilarious. But look at this place, man. What a mess. I have never had this place in such a mess. I always clean up and sweep and leave everything as nice and neat as I can. And sometimes that's just totally unavoidable. You know, I'm working back there in the bedroom, as you guys have been watching, and I have half of it pulled out here, the drawers, and that's the platform that goes under the bed. There's the actual platform there that the bed sits on, all the carpet. Oh my gosh, what a mess, man. But I do, I feel 100% better, except for the fact that I have that thing right between my eyes. Where in the heck did that even come from? Anyway, so I was looking at what's my next logical step, and I think it might be doing some wallpaper. I got two brand new rolls here, and then I believe I still have two brand new rolls up in here. This is a partial. Yeah, and then there's two brand new ones there and all that extra. And we've got a lot of nooks and crannies back here to cover. For one thing, we've got this wall here around that door, and this wall here then we got little bits you know around there around the uh, the shower there along the side here I got to decide if I'm gonna keep this mirror I was actually thinking of taking that out and putting a bigger one because really I mean I don't know what I need these little slots for here that's almost just decorate decorative stuff and I would kind of like to have a bigger mirror but also with those uh, those lights at the top there too. But anyways, talking about the, uh, the wallpaper, this is another section we have to do here. And then into the bedroom, we've got, you know, th there, there's really no, um, no straight walls where I can just put one long piece of paper. It's all gotta be longer strips and little nooks and crannies and, this tiny little strip across the top there. And then I have to decide how meticulous I wanna be as far as how far I take the wallpaper down there. 
because, I mean, really, I'm not going to try to make it look perfect down there because you won't even ever see that. Same thing over here. You got these water pipes down here. So I'm, I'm probably going to take it down to that little mount there, that piece of wood, but it's not going to be perfect there because this thing, this box, will be recovered with the new carpet, and that fits right over that. Sometimes I feel like I get to talking on these videos and I just yap, 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 but I'm just telling you, it's, uh, it's not as easy as it looks. It's not just as easy as, hey, let's go do this and then you do it. Um, there's, there's a lot of thought that goes into it and a lot of consideration that goes into each and every little thing that you do in here. One of those things is how the heck do I get this TV out of here? On one hand, I like it and I brought my Atari so I can play some Atari on it. <laughs> before I take it out of there, but um, I don't know how to get it out of there. Which also means that I don't have any way to hook the Atari up to it unless I can figure out how to access the, uh, the coax on the back. Uh, I will tell you something else though that I want to try out. I got this TV right here that I'm going to see if I can't connect it to the hotspot on my phone. I have my laptop connected to it. I want to see how good the signal strength is, if it can handle doing like Netflix on that TV and the internet on my uh, my laptop at the same time. Well, we got both of them going here, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of an interruption. I can tell you though that the quality of the Netflix right now is not very good. <laughs> it's not the worst ever, but it's not very good. So. There definitely is an interruption in the quality um, while I'm doing this over here. Yeah, see, look, as soon as I disconnected from my laptop, the quality on there got 100% better. So, I mean, at least they work together. You know, I can use them both at the same time. But I'm also in an area right now where there's a good connection. You know, I'm not having any problems with any kind of connection, so... You know, when I'm out at the side of the road somewhere by the mountains or something, it might be a little different story. In fact, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day in here right now, or at least for this video. Um, I'm going to stick around here for a little while, do a little bit more work. But if I start anything significant, like if I start wallpapering or anything over there or whatever, then I will film it for the next video. But for right now, I think I'm going to wrap this up and uh, clean up, make some more decisions, and then get out of town, come back tomorrow morning and start early.